Hi, uh, welcome to the third video in my Ubuntu series. You can see a lot of changes have happened to my desktop wall. Uh, these are called uh, screenlets. Uh, this is there in the software center. Uh, just type screenlets. Here it is. Yeah, install it. It goes under um, accessories here. And you have a lot of screenlets which you can add to the desktop. Okay, all this stuff. Uh, let me see what I have. Yeah, trash. Okay, I'll select that and I'll say start on login so that I want it every time and it should be there. So I'll say launch. It comes here. Okay, so you have a lot of things here volume control this is the system monitor uh, this is what I have put it here it shows everything how the CPU usage and running uh, programs uh, or everything about system okay you have a picture frame you can put one photo frame on the wall put family photo whatever you want okay right click properties Okay, you can uh, change the transparency opacity. You can make it transparent. Increase the size. Okay, all this stuff. St stick to desktop. If you uh, let us, I'll show you. If I say stick to desktop, we'll go to the next desktop. Okay, it will be there. If you want this screen led to be only uh, be present on the first desktop I think you have to disable this and it will not be there in any other desktops okay that is an interesting okay I just deleted some files uh, files to show you uh, how this uh, trash uh, fills up with all this paper here and uh, let us see how we can em try to empty trash is it there yeah empty trash uh, yes yeah see it becomes empty <laughs> very interesting in the previous video I had said uh, there are uh, some 34,000 softwares in uh, software center actually uh, this is a very big number and it includes everything all that uh, add-ons drivers uh, all other stuffs so that's why this number is so big but still it has a lot of useful stuff you can go on to testing uh, each and every one now I want to show uh, the uh, default uh, picture viewer which is there a file system home and pictures okay now if I enter it uh, this is the default uh, picture viewer okay here uh, if I click on this edit image rotate crop red eye okay adjust okay the whole everything is there okay. saturation exposure here when I if I compare this with uh, yeah yeah it's changed with uh, the paint paint does not have all this color adjustment but even then if if a JPEG image is open in paint if you make any if you make any change and save it uh, the compression is too high and uh, the quality uh, gets reduced damaged the here uh, this simple adjustment uh, the editor is very nice the quality is superb and I was playing with this panel and uh, I deleted the default panel and then reintroduced a new one uh, and then something went wrong uh, in the sense uh, it did not have all this program list c coming here even I minimized I, I won't that the program list was not there so there was a I found one command in the help to restore the default panel so in the terminal 
control alt t there is a there is a command kill genome panel this command when i, I just i have to just press enter type this command and i got back the default panel instantly and if you use open office and you want to share the file with uh, a windows system a point to note is that suppose you create some excel file or a word file when you try to save it you should select that file type as this microsoft excel as well as give the file extension xls this makes it openable compatible with uh, all systems there are applications available which can save or uh, backup the whole operating system with all the installed programs and settings i have not tried anything uh, there is one i have installed i have not tested it it's called see this remaster sys backup uh, it's like something uh, not like uh, creating your own distribution it's like but all that uh, settings personalization gets saved it's a really very st strong feature another difference when you keep the system idle uh, the screen saver gets activated at after certain time uh, what, what i was watching a movie and uh, what happened the screen started becoming dim first it the screen saver does not get activated all of a sudden so you know the screen saver is going to get activated so you can just tap on the keyboard or just move the mouse that feature is very very useful it's it, it does not disturb you from watching movie that is very nice and i installed audacity and uh, when i wanted to after editing uh, an audio track when i wanted to export export as mp3 file it it just works in uh, windows system i need to install something called lame mp3 codec only after that is installed uh, this works but here it is working uh, readily i found some more useful shortcut keys uh, i'll let me keep some keep some applications open okay then okay we have few applications open now the windows key and w will arrange all the uh, uh, active application in on the desktop and we can just use the arrow keys to select whichever we want it comes in the foreground as active windows w that is one thing and another key combination is windows alt and tab it will show all the application across all desktops and we can select that's all for now thank you for watching